to go forward, but hopefully this is the beginning of getting people to think about what it is that they're trying to do and put some things on paper. Um, as much as it seems like a pain, writing stuff down um, really helps you get to the next level. It forces you to think about what you're doing in a much more concrete way. So now we're going to go big and stay away from mission, not away from it, but we're gonna talk about what is your big dream? What is your grand vision for the outcome of your mission? So you've just been talking about what you're doing and maybe even why you're doing it, but if you succeed, what does that look like? What is the vision that you're trying to accomplish? So hopefully that is about yourself, it's about your, how your products are impacting a certain group of people or solving some sort of problem, whatever that might be. But here's, um, I'm gonna show you another video. I love the videos. Um, this one is um, about a really, well I'm just gonna let it speak for itself, but it's about a really interesting nonprofit that came out of a design, oops, sorry. That came, <laughs> yeah, it's Ikea. It came out of um, a design project and a design school that was doing sort of similar things as we are, which was figuring out well, what, what can we design, what can we make that's relevant, and here we go. I really believe. Think about your visions. Think about what it is that you're trying to do, and it doesn't have to be solving homelessness. It, <laughs> it doesn't have to be that, but a lot of what we're doing actually is about people's, you know, the beauty that people want near them, around them, that makes them feel solid, that makes them feel special, and makes them feel comfortable. And so think about those things when you're imagining making your vision statement. So, here's some examples. They're in your book, so you don't have to memorize these. But I mean, look at IKEA, Affordable Solutions for Better, better Living. You got solution in the thing. I know. Down. So what do you think? Do you think that's a good one? Not, no, you're not according to that guy. Oh. And, well, <laughs> and do you think it's visionary? Do you think it's visionary? Now look at Amazon's. Amazon has a vision. World domination. <laughs> Through online sales. <laughs> and look at the zoo, to become a world leader at connecting people to wildlife and conservation. So you see how that's bigger than their mission. It's like what they're trying to get to at the end of the day. Um, IKEA, that's more like a mission statement to me. That's, you know, um, that's saying what they do. But these down here are reaching towards something that they're not doing or that they want to continue to do better. So when you're crafting your vision statements, you want to talk about the long term. This shouldn't be something that you can accomplish this year. This should be something that you're striving to or that maybe you never stop striving for because it's that, because it's world domination. <laughs> but does it inspire you? It better inspire you. But more likely, and more importantly, does it inspire others? Is it gonna make people feel something about what your product says? I mean, that, that's interesting to think about. Because remember that people buy things partially because they want something, but also because of how they feel and how that product or how that brand makes them feel. I know that when I buy something from an artist, I'm buying a part of that artist and the more that that artist can express to me who they are and what their art stands for, the more I'm likely to relate to it if, I, you know, if their art speaks to me in that way. Certainly for the crafts you know, at Berea College, you have this vision to help students who are underserved in an area that's very specific. That's a pretty interesting mission, vision piece there. So, Remember that this is um, about a, a stretch, a reach, and a moding. So we're gonna do the same exercise now. You won't be in the same groups, but you're gonna spend 10 minutes working on a vision statement for yourself. And remember, this is just to help stretch you to think about the real purpose and 
and the real reasons that you're trying to do things and what you're trying to accomplish. So spend 10 minutes on your own working on a vision statement. If you look on page 15, um, is the beginning, sorry. On page 17, you have another sheet that's not unlike the mission one that reminds you of, are you stating the long-term goals? Are you inspired by the vision? Et cetera. So use those to work on your statement and then we'll break into groups again and we'll get some feedback on that.